Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and this is my guide dog, Shiva. Oh, Shiva, you are in the way. She is a black Labrador retriever from the Guide Dog Foundation for the Blind. And today we are going to show you, where are you going? It's in here, I have your toys in here. Shiva, here. Is this what you want? Here, you want this? Oh, okay, come here then. Um, and today um, we are going to show you uh, what we pack um, when traveling. So this is something I know I questioned a lot um, before getting her and the first time we traveled uh, what to bring. If you can't see, she has placed her paw on my leg. <laughs> and lay down right next to me. Oops. Am I boring you? She has quite the personality. Um, so we, this is just what we pack for a weekend trip. And as I pull things out, I might accidentally pull out some things that belong to me and not to her because we share bags, mm -hmm. obviously. Am I that boring? I am. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Um, I'll get, so she's walking over right now and is going to unpack her, what are you unpacking? Okay, she went, ah, come lay down, go place. Make her lay on her bed. Good girl, thank you. So, um, first and foremost, what she keeps going over the suitcase to get is when traveling, I always pack her favorite or most used toys. So first one is Squeaky Kong teddy bear with ropes in him instead of stuffing. You want that? Actually, no, I don't want you to squeak the whole video. Um, her rough wear ball. It's not a ball. It's an odd shape. I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh, not really a hotel toy, uh, but in case we were going to go visit some friends, I did pack it along. Or I always just bring it because sometimes she just likes to sit and have it. You can have that. Um, and another one of her favorite toys is this double-ended Nylabone. Um, it's right in the middle and then the ends are all cream colored. And she loves this thing. She puts it all the way back in her mouth and chews on the um, middle of it with her back teeth. <laughs> with her, here you go. With her back, there she's gonna do it. Um, with her back teeth and then she will then chew on the ends. If that gets too loud, I will take it away. That might actually just annoy me, not her. Um, Another thing, which is kind of obvious, is kibble for a short trip. I would normally just pack it in Ziploc bags, but I was excited to try this new thing we got. Um, it's the Kibble Caddy from Roughwear, and it actually worked very well. Um, I'm not good at pouring, so it was slightly annoying to have to open it each time, but no big deal. And then, uh, food measuring scoop. It's also in there. So these first set of things are all in the suitcase. I'm still boring you. Um, also of hers, and this would be a seasonal item, whether it be winter or summer, um, are boots. These are rough wear grip checks boots. Grip treks um, boots. Let me see if I can get one out. All velcroed together. Um, paw boots to protect from either heat this time of year or um, sand and salt in the winter. Those are in there for her. Uh, not for her, but a just in case item would be um, a cane. I like to always be prepared, and then the, this trip I did not take it and I ended up needing it um, uh, just for a quick trip to the breakfast area at the hotel. I was gonna give her a break because there was a lot of food on the floor, but I didn't pack it that time, so I had to use a guide. <laughs> Uh, also in here for her, just a minute, would be, uh, I brought her GoPro stuff. We didn't end up using it, um, but I did have it. I could do a whole video about what I have in here for GoPro things if anyone is interested. Was that another yarn? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, but I just keep it in this little cube and then it's really easy to grab and pack if I want to bring it. Um, also in here brush, her regular everyday brush, and then every day we've also been using the um, Zoom Groom by Kong to help with shedding. 
which Sheila sometimes thinks is a toy. And then I think for the suitcase, that might be all that was her, oh no. And then in the top, I have grooming wipes. I never travel without these. Are you gonna sniff them? Okay. Uh, grooming wipes, just cause you never know when you might need them. If she was to get dirty, um, if it was to rain and she got smelly. And then also in here was her tie downs. Um, I always use these in a hotel room just cause you never know what is around. And we also do use them every night at home too, just for kind of my peace of mind. And that is it in the suitcase. I did actually also keep um, extra water. It's June here in Iowa and it's already pretty hot. And so in the suitcase, I also had extra water. And then guide dog related was, I always like to bring an easy on off shoe. So in the summer it's flip flops. In the winter it's, I have these black um, slipper things that I like to take. So I really like that for taking her in and out of the hotel. And then, not in the suitcase, but along, and this wouldn't really work if you were flying, obviously, her rough wear bed. I ordered the wrong size and it is huge, but it works great and she likes it a lot and she knows it's hers. And then also rolled up in here that's also making it look so huge right now is, I can't see, I feel it on either end. A small, thin blanket I got years ago at Walgreens. Um, she just, she sleeps with a blanket at home. She kind of nuzzles. I'm not unfolding this for you to land. Um, and then this rolls up. She either nuzzles under it or things like that. And then in the bag I carried and sat with us in the car. And then we were actually at a state soccer tournament. And so this bag went in us, in with us to the games. Um, and it's just an old North Face backpack that I've had for years. Just laying the bottom. I don't know where it is. We'll see. Um, in the outside, I have a water bottle that was hers, and then I also had one for me. Um, this is post trip, if that makes more sense. She's biting at the bag because there's a toy in the front. Um, so this had water in it for her that I took into the game, but I did give her water before, and then I didn't actually have to give her water during the games, which were nice. Would you like your toy? So, favorite, favorite toy in the front of the backpack for the car, for the game if she got stressed, and then again at the hotel is an Isla Bone Dental Dinosaur. And then on the outside of the bag, is that gonna be annoying and loud, Shiva? Okay, I apologize. Is um, a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. Also in this front pouch is collapsible dish. Um, I use this for food and water, both in the hotel and while traveling. Side note on kibble. Um, always bring extra kibble. I always do bring an extra meal and then I either end up using it as to refill the treat pouch because she gets food rewards um, or this time I was a skilled person and I spilled an entire meal in the parking lot at a rest stop while I was trying to sit it down for her to eat. So we ended up needing the extra kibble. Also in this front pouch is leftover from end up needing it. When I pack, I normally always bring like an extra disposable shopping bag, which is kind of weird like that. We ended up needing this for her cooling vest, which I will either explain later or in a separate video, but this became very helpful. It was just a Disney Parks bag that was in the suitcase. Okay, so in this one pocket right here, whether anything in here is related to her, Nope, that's all stuff for me. Let me see, is there anything Sheba in here? We have another bone, a peanut butter flavored Nyla bone, which she does not want. Um, my hat. Okay, this is Sheba. So in here is also a seasonal, but both winter and summer. I have a hmm, small, uh, Tupperware, not Tupperware brand, I don't know what brand it is, um, came from a lunchbox set. Container of Musher Secret, we call it Pagu, but it's kind of the, con it's sort of like coconut oil consistency, but not as hard. Um, and this is a paw protectant. I use this instead of her shoes um, for the heat, 
it was 90 some degrees one day um, but she does not enjoy wearing her shoes or her booties and so this worked better for us and we were on metal bleachers that were super hot and she did super fine no issues there um, sunscreen is mine yep everything else in that pocket belongs to me and then in the big back pocket I have my charging cables my purse nothing else she related and then in the laptop pocket I have her cooling vest and so this is obviously another seasonal item she's sniffing it um, but this is the rough wear swamp cooler cooling vest and it folded up nice and small and fit in the bag and I will say this worked wonderfully I was kind of skeptical in the beginning but it worked super well um, and what I did with this bag, so the first day I poured a water bottle on it, didn't work well. I didn't get it very wet. I ended up wasting some of our minimal cold water we brought into the game because you weren't supposed to bring outside stuff, but sure. Um, but the second day, what we did is we filled the bathtub in our hotel room with cold water, or not filled it, maybe two or three inches. And then I soaked, I laid this down and I kind of soaked it in the water. And then I wrung it out a little bit and then I folded it up and I put it in that shopping bag, or the Disney Parks bag, and then I rolled it and put it in the front of my backpack. And once we, when we got to the game about two hours later, it was still cool, perfect, or still damp and perfect, and it worked perfect. Um, and then I took it off her, put it back in the bag, put it in here, and then we got home, and it was probably wet for, hmm. I'd say it was damp in the bag or on her for over, I'd say close to 12 hours. Um, and it's two days later and I just hung it to dry and it doesn't smell bad at all, which I am actually shocked about. So, and then how you could change out the cooling vest depending on the season um, would be if it was winter time and super cold and snowy you would take winter coat and I should have had this because it did end up raining but I forgot um, raincoat which is amazing so I believe aside from the normal everyday things that you take on any um, public outing excuse me Sheba what are you doing could you sit down please Thank you. Um, <laughs> which I'm going to do a separate video on and I will link in the description. Um, that is everything that we take with us and it works well. So thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions.